I'm Takato Yoshikawa from University of Tsukuba, Japan. I'm gonna introduce our work, Diversifying Detail and Appearance in Sketch-Based Face Image Synthesis. Let me explain our research background. Sketches can easily represent object outlines. If sketch-based image synthesis is possible, even an amateur user can easily create image content without specialized knowledge. As you can see, you can easily create human portraits and cat images from sketches. Also, you can easily modify them as you like by redrawing the sketches. In sketch-based image synthesis, realism and diversity are important. Realism is how natural the generated images are. In the left figure, both images can be generated with the same sketch, but the lower face is more natural than the upper one. Meanwhile, diversity is the, the output variation for a single sketch. Sketches are inf less informative and more ambiguous than photographs. So there are many possible candidates for the generated images. However, existing methods mainly focus on improving realism and do not consider diversity sufficiently. To solve this problem, we propose a sketch-based image synthesis method that considers both realism and diversity. Our goal is to control detail and appearance individually. Here, the detail refers to the flow of hair and wrinkles on the skin, and the, the appearance refers to the colors of the skin and hair and so on. As you can see from the left single hand draw sketch, our deep generative model can generate various face images, as shown on the right. Now, I introduce the related work. The method by Lee et al. enables the user to specify appearance by reference images when generating images from edge maps. Their method enables the user to diversify the output for appearance, but not for detail. In addition, hand-draw sketches are not assumed as input. So their method outputs low quality images when coarse sketches are given. Yang et al. introduced a sketch collection network that makes hand-draw sketches cross to edge maps. Their method is our baseline. The realism of the resulting image can be improved by inputting the corrected sketch instead of inputting the hand-draw sketch. However, their method cannot diversify the output. In contrast to the other methods, our method considers both realism and diversity. Our method does not require the input sketch to be accurate sketch, so even a hand-draw sketch can be used to synthesize a photorealistic face image. Our method allows control of both detail and appearance elements. In addition, detail and appearance can be specified by reference image or randomly. Now, I explain our pipeline. This slide shows the overview of our pipeline at the inference time. Our model is divided into three networks. First, the input sketch is fed to the sketch collection network Z to obtain a corrected sketch. Network Z is pre-trained and introduced to improve the output realism. Then we get the final output through the detail network H and the appearance network F. H and F can be controlled by the latent variables Z1 and Z2 sampled from the normal distribution. By changing these latent codes, we can generate diverse images.
Next, I explain the structure of networks H and F. Because H and F have the same structure, I explain H as an example. Here is the structure of the network H during training. Network H is based on the generative adversarial network GAN. DH is a discriminator and it discriminates real and fake density maps. We also use a technique called Sustain Autoencoder, or WA for short, to diversify the output. EW is the WA encoder and DW is the discriminator. WA can make the detailed latent variable distribution follow the prior. This enables us to diversify the output by sampling latent variables from the distribution during inference. The latent variable ZF is injected into H using ADN and to reflect the detail to the output image. For more details, please refer to our paper. Next, I introduce the experimental results. The experimental environment is as follows. The inference time is about 0.07 seconds to generate one face image from one sketch, so a user can generate and edit images interactively. First, we show the qualitative comparisons with the existing method. Here, plus G indicates that the sketch correction network Z is used. As you can see, Spade can diversify the output, but their diversity is low and realism is not so high. Auto editing is the method of diversifying detail and appearance and is an idea similar to our method. However, results are not realistic because it does not assume hand draw sketch input. DPS is our baseline, but it tends to generate blurry images. Also, DPS cannot diversify the output. In contrast, our method obtained final results via step-by-step -step generation. In addition, it can generate more diverse results compared to speed and art editing. We also conducted a qualitative comparison with existing methods. We used the LPIPS metric to evaluate diversity. We conducted a user study to evaluate the realism. From the test sketches shown here, we synthesized the face images and then asked 12 people to evaluate their realism of the result images on a five-point scale. We computed realism scores by averaging the user-evaluated values. This page summarizes the results. As you can see in the diversity column, our method has the highest score and can generate more diverse images than the existing methods. As you can see in the realism column, our results are as realistic as or better than the existing methods. DPS also has the same score for realism, but it cannot diversify the output. There are various candidates for dense H maps used to train our de detailed network. So we tried using three H maps, Canny, XDOZ, and Deep Face Editing. As you can see, the edges are dense in all the results, but Deep Face Editing will represent detail, such as hair structures. In addition, the final output image is also the most realistic when edge maps extracted using deep face editing is used. So we used it as intermediate training data. Next, 
This page shows comparisons of using VAE and WAE as the diversification method. Using VAE, the output images are low diversity of detail and appearance, and blurred images. In contrast, as you can see, the WAE outputs are sharper and more diverse in skin color and wrinkles. Next, I explain the limitations of our method. First, it occasionally produces images with unnecessary lines around the face. This could be potentially solved by utilizing semantic masks. Next, the image realism can be reduced depending on the combination of detail and appearance latent variables. We would like to develop a new model structure that can alleviate this limitation in the future. Finally, I conclude this talk. We have proposed sketch-based image synthesis considering realism and diversity. Specifically, we realized diversification by individually controlling detail and appearance. Our method trains each element with a respective network. As a diversification method, we use WAE, which is suitable for this method through experiments. Through comparisons with the existing methods, we demonstrated that our method can generate various images while maintaining the realism of existing methods. Please visit our project page and try our source code. That's all. Thank you for your attention.